Welcome to this YouTube channel, K-Leaders. I'm Francis Chen. In this episode, I'll share with you answers to question 4 of my compliance test, which is about Minibook. Minutes of meetings are very important documents of the company. But unfortunately, when I take over certain books and records of my new client, I notice that some Minibook are empty or even there's no Minibook. I hope you agree with me that this is not right because there must be something in your minibook. What should they be? For example, there should be resolutions of directors confirming the appointment of first directors, approving the allotment of founder member shares, approving the issue of third certificate to the founder members. Subsequently, there should be resolution approving the appointment of auditors, approving the audit financial statements. And for the members, there should be minutes of the annual general meeting. So, if your answer to the question, do you have a minibook, is no, then I would suggest you to revisit your current arrangement and make sure that you comply with the company ordinance. So, the company ordinance do require every Hong Kong company to keep records of all resolutions passed. And for sole shareholder show director situation, written record of decision must be maintained. The retention period is 10 years from the day when the resolution is passed. So even though there's a retention period here, I would believe that most clients and company secretaries will not suggest you to destroy those minutes because they are the very important evidence of those meetings. In this connection, the company audience do have provisions saying that once the minutes are signed by the chairperson of the meeting or chairperson of the next meeting, then the minutes are evidence of proceedings of the meeting. And if, you, if the company failed to keep the minute book within the period of 10 years and in Hong Kong, then the company is exposed to punishment at level 5 and daily default fine of $1,000 Hong Kong. Passing resolutions in Hong Kong can be by several means. The traditional one is to have the fiscal meeting meet face-to-face -face in one place. But due to COVID-19, I think this is not possible now. So it's not very common to have telephone meeting and, or have Zoom meeting, etc. But I would suggest you to look at your article association to see if the articles allow you to hold this kind of Zoom meeting, electronic meetings. Resolution can also be passed in writing. And for sure, director show shareholder situation, you need to maintain the written record of decision. Passing director's resolutions are not covered in the company ordinance because it's considered that it's something internal. So the article association should contain all the provisions necessary for passing resolutions by directors and passing resolutions in writing by directors. Those directors who have conflicts should not vote on those resolutions concerned. Most resolutions can be passed by majority directors, but for some situation whereby it concerns very material matters such as you dispose of very important assets of the company or you want to do a very significant amount of bank borrowing, then I believe that some of the articles would contain provisions saying that for those same sentences, all directors should approve before take the action forward. In the COVID-19 situation, quite some clients come to me and said, Francis, is it possible that I can give my e-signature on resolutions instead of giving original signatures? Since the passing of the written resolutions are governed by the articles, so if the articles allow e-signature, then in my personal view, that is possible for the directors to give the e-signature. Since more and more members will pass resolutions in writing, the company ordinance do provide more provisions to cater for the situation whereby resolutions are passed in writing. According to the ordinance, a written resolution will be passed if all eligible members sign their own and the proposed resolution should be circulating to all the registered members. If all the registered members do not sign back within 28 days or the number of days as specified in the articles, then the resolution will be deemed to be lapsed. If the resolution can be successfully passed, don't forget to notify the company members and also the auditor of the passing resolutions within 15 days. If you do not comply with the legislation under the new company ordinance about written resolutions, there will be different type of punishment. So please watch out. Please also be reminded that when you remove auditors or directors, written resolutions of members is not possible. The reason behind is that 
there should be opportunity for the removing director and removing auditor to attend the meeting and give representation about their removal. For sole director and sole shareholder situation, I think it does not very make sense that one person attend in person and then speak to himself that resolution passed. So the company ordinance do have provision saying that for sole director, sole shareholder situation, you should record your decision in a written record or decision. Remember, written record or decision is not a written resolution. So the circulation requirement is not required for written record of decision. Once the show shareholder, show's director make the decision, he should record that decision within seven days. If that is not complied with, then it will be subject to a level three punishment. But this contravention will not affect the validity of the decision. Resolution passed by members will be in two types, ordinary resolution and special resolution. Ordinary resolution can be passed by a simple majority of members. Special resolution requires a majority of at least 75% of members. So the ordinance do have specified certain events must require special resolutions. Examples of those include amendment of article associations, change of company name, you reduce your share capital, you put your company into voluntary liquidation, or you vary the cost rights of your shares. For ordinary resolution, even though you require only simple majority, but sometimes the client said that in some certain important event, for example, dispose of very important assets of the company or important business of the company, then even if it's an ordinary resolution, the articles may require all members to approve this kind of material event. I hope this episode can help you to understand more of the law requirements and hope that you can comply with the law legislation. So thank you very much for watching this video. In the next episode, I'll share with you answer to the other question of my compliance test. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give us a like and subscribe and share with your friends. Look forward to your continuous support. See you next time. Bye-bye.